Hello everyone, you are watching Sahib Academy. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for the regular updates and also follow us on Instagram, Sahib Academy. Now let's go to the video. Hi everyone, this is the sixth video of investment decision chapter. Now in this video, we are going to see this another technique of capital budgeting that is profitability index. Yes, but before watching this video, please make sure you understand what net present value is, how to discount the cash flows, yeah, what is the present value, what is the time value of money and everything. So all these things we have discussed in the fourth video of this chapter, yeah, net present value video. So please watch that video first. I will put the link in the description below and then come back to this video. All right. Okay, then. So now let's start this video. Now, first, let's understand what is meant by this profitability index. Now, you already know that this is a technique of capital budgeting, which we use to evaluate the projects and everything. But how? Yeah. What is the criteria and how do we calculate this profitability index? That's what you have to understand. See here, it's simple. The PI, the profitability index measures the ratio. It is what? It is just a ratio between the present value of future cash inflows, yeah, which you are going to get over the years of the project and the present value of cash outflows. Is that clear? It is just a ratio. PI is equal to present value of cash inflows divided by present value of cash outflows yeah now this is just a ratio as you can see it's very simple so what is the decision criteria over here the acceptance rule see if pi is greater than one then we accept the project and if pi is less than one then we reject the project is that clear as simple as that that's all you have to do but the main thing here is you know you have to relate this with the net present value see here in net present value what we used to do in net present value if you remember yeah let me show that irr calculation here see here this is the net present value calculation yes so what we used to do was we used to discount the cash flows yeah and we used to have outflow the initial investment yeah in negative here yeah and then we used to get the present value of that now this is the present value itself because it happens on the day one but then these are the future values so we used to discount them by multiplying it with the discount factor and we used to get the present values isn't it and then what we used to do was we used to get the net present value if the net present value was positive then we used to accept the project if it was negative then we used to reject the project yes and what was the calculation we do over here we just add it up yeah add all the inflows and subtract it with the outflow that's what we used to do so if i can say the simple formula of npv is present value of inflow minus present value of outflow isn't it see here these are the inflows the money which we are projecting to get and this is the outflow negative initial investment cost yes and this is the npv so that's how we used to calculate the npv now here what are we doing in pi pi is just a ratio of these two things as you can see present value of inflow divided by present value of outflow isn't it yes so now the criteria is very simple what we do if pi is greater than one we accept the project yeah and when pi is greater than 1 and you do the npv calculation of that same project then you will get a positive npv you have to get positive npv why is that see here this is numerator this is denominator yes so if i say 6 divided by 2 yeah then what is the answer the denominator is smaller and the numerator is big yeah so the answer is simple 3 yeah it is more than more than 1 yeah but what if I, you know, change it up? 2 divided by 6. Now what would be the answer? It would be less, isn't it? See here, 2 divided by 6. That is equal to 0 0.33333. You see this? Of course, it's simple math. Whenever a numerator is bigger, then your number will be more than 1. If numerator is smaller than denominator, then your answer will be less than one yes 0 0.33 as we can see here so that's what you know whenever your pi is greater than one your npv has to be positive and we accept the project so if you can see here the decision from both of these techniques profitability index as well as npv will be same yeah if pi is less than one what does that mean the numerator the numerator is smaller than the denominator the outflow is more so if outflow is more if you're spending more of course you have to reject the project are you understanding the logic here when npv will be negative npv will only be negative when you know your outflow is more than your inflow yes if you're let's say this is 1 lakh and this is 1 lakh 36 then here it will be minus 36 isn't it so that's the thing yeah so whenever 
whenever pi is greater than 1 npv will be positive and whenever pi is less than 1 your npv will be negative is that clear you understood the relationship between the npv and the profitability index yes so all we do over here is just a ratio of these two things okay yes so the index is a useful tool for ranking investment projects yes with profitability index what we do is you know when we have so many projects we rank them on the basis of profitability index from the higher to the lowest and we go for the combination of projects or what we do is we go for the highest projects also is that clear the highest project means the project which has the highest profitability index and showing the value created per unit of investment now what does this mean see yes very simple when profitability index is let's say it is 1.2 or something yeah so what does that mean if your profitability index is 1.2 what it means is you know if it is 1.2 your pi is 1.2 it means that let's speak in terms of dollars it means that dollar 1.2 is generated yeah generated for each dollar you invest for each dollar you invest that is the meaning over here for you know every dollar you invest you are getting 1.2 in return is that clear that is what you know pi also has that interpretation clear so this was the profitability index the calculation is very simple you just have to understand the relationship that's very important for the theory part yeah they can ask that in the theory part and when pi is equal to zero then we may accept or reject the project as we do with the npv yeah we are indifferent yes then advantages and disadvantages simple it takes into account the time value of money of course it does because here we use present value of cash flows and then it is useful to rank the projects yes as i said we rank the projects and if there are divisible projects then we can go for combination of projects or what we do is we go for the highest project you know the project which has the highest pi yes on the basis of index yes and then disadvantages here we have it is difficult to compute and understand the analytical of the decision on the basis of pi yeah sometimes it is difficult you know to do the calculation of pi and to understand the whole analysis of a project and then indivisible project now see here when there are indivisible projects yeah we can't divide the projects then what happens is you know we cannot go for combination of projects by dividing them up on the basis of pi okay so that's the thing over here yeah the pi fails when the indivisible projects are there clear so this was the concept and you know the basic idea of profitability index now let's solve some problems and you will understand how simple this is because here the calculation is nothing yeah you are just going to divide these things and that's it you are going to get the pi and you have to accept or reject the project but what you have to understand here the main thing is npv if you don't know how to do this and everything then you can't have cash inflows and cash outflows because how do you get these after doing this calculation only is that clear easy so let's see the problems now here we have the problem see the question over here suppose we have three projects involving discounted cash outflow of rupees 5 lakh 50 thousand rupees 75 thousand and rupees 1 crore 20 thousand respectively suppose further that the sum of discounted cash inflows for these projects are rupees 6 lakh 50 thousand rupees 95 thousand and rupees 1 crore 30 thousand respectively calculate the desirability factors for the three projects yes now this profitability index also has other names okay benefit cost ratio desirability factors and everything okay so now here desirability factors means pi profitability index yes so how do we calculate profitability index we just divide the present value of cash inflow divided by present value of cash outflow so now here we have got three projects yes three outflows three inflows simple just divide them you will get the pi so the first project we have 5 lakh 50 thousand and 6 lakh 50 thousand the outflow is 5 lakh 50 the inflow is 6 lakh 50 so 6 lakh 50 divided by 5 lakh 50 isn't it inflow divided by outflow okay so the answer is 1.18 yeah and then the same thing with all the three projects you have to do that inflow divided by outflow yes so the second project we have see here second project outflow is 75 inflow is 95 so inflow divided by outflow 1.27 and then here we have the third project 1 crore 20,000 that is what outflow and inflow is 1 crore 30,000 so yeah inflow divided by outflow 1.001 now which project will you go for the project which has the highest pi that is the second project isn't it 1.27 so that is what it would be seen that in absolute terms project 3 gives the highest cash inflow yeah here if you can see the highest inflow is of the project 3 isn't it the highest inflow but the outflow is also high yes so the pi will be low because the outflow is also more 
so of course this index will be less yeah so see here the desirability factor is low of that third project this is because the outflow is also very high yes the desirability profitability index factor helps us in ranking various projects so here we will go for this this second project here yeah 